All right, guys, we are back. S2 Recon, and we have got very interesting teams here. We are looking at Team Obelix with Leonardo, MP Mint, Chip, Gerald, Toad, Gorilla, Father Xmas, and Point, the legendary Point Army. Uh, okay, and they are up against Team Cryptos, equally legendary, uh, or more so, who knows? Uh, Mouse Leisure, Karma, Xenophon, Hobbs, Overdose, and Spy. Oh boy, uh, I I I will say I mean I like that that power combination Karma Xenophon Overdose and Spy I think is a deadly combination there uh, plus Cryptos, you know with Hobbs th they might have it all here. Mouse Leisure can play defense I don't know but anyway they've they've got quite the team there. Team Obelix, we saw Obelix had a little bit of trouble captaining earlier on the Urban Recon. Uh, you know Leonardo uh, was getting uh, kind of overpowered in a couple of these games. MP Mint wasn't being aggressive enough. Uh, Geral, you know, what can you say? He was doing the healing, kind of a backfield player. Uh, Gorilla, you know, doing great work, though. Father X is very strong as well. And Point, I think, might be pretty rusty. So I want to say Team Cryptos should have the, they should be favored to win this here. But, you know, who knows? Anything can happen. And uh, let's just see how these guys are deploying. So it looks like we got a cannon for Team Obelix. Did Team Cryptos trade for a cannon? I don't believe they did. That's going to give them an advantage right off the bat in terms of manpower with those four extra units. Obelix, of course, holding that cannon himself. This guy's quickly clearing out those RPGs, and I expect we'll see a flank attack. Yes, indeed. Spy with Overdose moving to grab some of these, you know, get equipped at that pile there. Super chill flank, says Hobbs. Is he off in the swamps? Yes, indeed. Yes, sir, Bob. CC mid, says Leonardo. Uh-oh, Gerald Toad is in trouble here. He was standing right on that pile. He's going to lose one unit, and now he is going to be outnumbered. Uh, three, to, three to one there against Hobbs. Early losses for Team Obelix. As Spy and Overdose are going to start start putting the pressure. Here come those Spy RPGs against MP Mint. He's going to take some damage there. It's going to weaken all of his units. Point with one unit there trying to counter Karma, who's also moving up on the flank. And Xenophon moving up the mid. He does take a hit there from Father Xmas. Father Xmas is, uh, you know, he's uh, <laughs> he's making sure Xenophon felt that one. That was a good work for Father Xmas. Going to break up. Easy, he says. Yes, sir, Rebob. That's going to break up that offense a little bit. Looks like team, looks like Gerald did get taken out there by Hobbs. So now Hobbs is in a position, of course, to go on the, uh, go on the sneak attack. As I can see, I've been falling all the way back here to get healed. Getting RPGs says Spy. Yeah, I expect these guys would have gone all the way back there. Overdose as well. Going behind says Karma. They want to get into the backfield here. And there he is to start causing some chaos. Point taking some shots at Karma there. Meet you there says Hobbs. Yes, he's going to come in from the other side. I think he wants to. There he is. Oh, no, it's Father Xmas, who has spotted. Uh, oh, no, Gerald Toad. Oh, they haven't seen uh, uh, Hobbs yet. Okay, these, they're, they're uh, kind of playing the swamps mid there. This gorilla getting uh, suicidally forward, going with that RPG. He's, he's going to get one of Spy's units anyway. Why not? Let's go. That cannon uh, should needs to step up. They definitely need to... Uh, trit some of these uh, some of these team cryptos units as they're coming across point taking a lot of hits here as empty mint is trying to hit karma hobbs in position with one man two men he tosses that rpg he does get a hit there takes out some of that leonardo defense i do believe free hands says Gerald, of course xenophon says he was suicided but he does get a spare Point is in a lot of trouble here. He's standing in the swamps as this attack from Karma and Spy is uh, still relentlessly underway. Father Xmas coming back. Did he take out Hobbs? He did. Good stuff from Father Xmas. That is going to even things up. Excellent work. As Leonardo there. Tossing down a heel on Geral. Anyone spare, says Hobbs. 
Uh, now it's even, I say, of course, but uh, Team Obelix with that cannon are at a four player, four unit disadvantage anyway. So Karma and uh, Spy here continuing the backfield action. Hobbs does get a spare there, looks like from Mouse Leisure. The mines being tossed down there from Obelix. Father Xmas, the man who is everywhere here. MP Mint and Point Army. Some opportunistic RPGs there from Overdose, but he missed quite significantly there. And here comes Xenophon with the wild one-man attack. Just misses there. Uh, this defense is noticed, though Father Xmas is on, onto that. Geral, Point, and Father Xmas are going to go push Xenophon off quite quickly, I think. Gorilla and MP Mint with Leonardo and Obelix. Just three units down here on the defense with Overdose coming all the way back. Overdose there, so it, not quite in position. I think he's a bit out of position here. He should be helping with that that offense, uh, you know, regardless of the spam. Is, is he still trying to spam this? I, I don't see the point there. Uh, Team Crypto should be much more forward with their attack. I mean, they're, like, they're trying to do it. Hobbs here with Karma and Spy. If they had Overdose there, that would really help them out. As Point comes down. Uh, there's Xenophon now developing this attack. He takes out Point. Help flag, says Leonardo. I think he's just panicking here. Melcizia says he's on his way to the mid. A uh, spy blown up. There we go. <laughs> By Leonardo, it must have been. And that is going to do it. Yeah. Hobbs, Xenophon, and should be Overdose and Melcizia on their way with Spy. So that's going to be, yeah, the whole team now is on their way. I think that would be just Cryptos holding a little bit of defense there. Overdose with one unit left. Wow, so, so, I mean, so far, some staunch defense from Team Obelix. Team, uh, Team Cryptos wanted this backfield flank. As you can see, they wanted it badly, and so far, they have just not quite been able to, to do it. They, I mean, they blew up the pile, and they've wasted all these heals. You know, heals are gone, but so far, they haven't been able to pull it off. Some more losses being taken there for Team Cryptos. Overdose trying to make the rush here. He is gunned down by Gorilla. And Spy still trying to, with Hobbs and, I'm guessing, oh, Xenophon still trying to do this as Karma is at the front gate. Karma versus Gorilla. Spy on his way. These guys are going to go for the flag rush. Hobbs and Spy here tossing down those grenades. MP Mint dodging that. Geral Toad. Uh, with Leonardo, the cannon is destroyed. Geral's taken out by a grenade. Spy with Hobbs. Ampimint goes in for the suicide. He does almost get Spy there, almost gets Hobbs. Doesn't quite do it. And that was just Leonardo standing on this cannon. And that is it. He was the last man standing there, and he is blown to smithereens. So Spy, Xenophon, and Hobbs finally. And I think they had... Um, Karma supporting them. Yeah, they're coming at the front trying to draw off with Overdose. And Mel Sleezer said he was on the way, but I, I mean, he's got no units left. So it's almost some late game, late game action there from Team Cryptos. They finally made it happen. Uh, they were they were relentlessly on the offense that whole game pretty much. The only offense uh, really that I saw from Team Obelix was uh, Geral in the swamps, and he was taken out almost immediately by Hobbs. So, and then we saw a uh, spy and Karma. With Xenophon, they wanted, you know, and Hobbs, all these guys, they wanted to get in that backfield so badly that game. And uh, it took them a long time to do it. They they were, uh, you know, fighting uphill through this. This is always a tough position, as I say, to come through here where these, you have these trees kind of blocking your uh, line of fire. So you're, you're forced into these slots, and then, you're, you know, you're shooting uphill against... Uh, the, you know, the flag defense, and they usually have advantage in players and so on. So it took it took a lot of effort uh, from uh, uh, Team Cryptos to wear down that flag defense enough that they could finally get in there. Uh, but they did it right at the end there, and with the help of um, Karma and Overdose, 
finally, I was giving Overdose a bit of a hard time there because I thought he, you know, he might have been a little more effective with a, a quicker, you know, strategy or something. But in the end, it it didn't matter because they had, I guess, enough time to just wear down uh, Team Obelix flag defense there. Uh, Father Xmas, who was doing f- spectacular work on that, that defense, uh, without a doubt, and Gorilla were excellent this game. Uh, Leonardo do, not doing so much uh, point. Uh, I saw he was in a, a, some odd positions. I think Leonardo did do some heals, though. I did see that. And, and you know, Gerald uh, as well. Although, like I said, he was sort of taking the early offense and uh, lost, uh, you know, all of his units there. Uh, MP Mint also doing decent work on the defense. But as you can see, these guys were uh, outmatched, uh, except for Father Xmas and Gorilla, who were, you know, uh, just... Uh, getting those kill kill frenzies as it were uh but at, in the end as you can see hobbs huge 34 damage seven kills uh overdose with big rpg spam cryptos was on defense that whole game he just he just was willing to sit there and take that defense which you know somebody's got to do and uh that was the right move i guess in this game so you know this doesn't reflect anything about performance he was just playing the d solid defense there of course there was no offense so he didn't have much to do uh that game against team obelix a spy also big damage numbers uh and uh karma with uh some you know few kills there uh, xenophon was in position i think he lost some guys yeah he had higher losses there earlier in the game uh I think at, at sort of an, uh, they had a, like an initial rush here, I think it was. But at any rate, the, the point is that it was a, com- a committed long-term strategy from uh, Team Cryptos to get into that backfield. And it took them a long time to do it, but they finally did it. Although they had, they, they really had quite the opportunity early on uh, with Hobbs with the double flank, right? Because remember, I mean, this is, he lost, this is where he lost his three guys. Uh, again, pushed back by Father Xmas, but he was, he had a chance here to um uh you know to coordinate their attacks so that he could have attacked simultaneously with the karma spy xenophon od combination coming in a deadly combination coming in from the planes so a, a you know pincer movement on the flag there could have ended this game earlier uh unfortunately it didn't pan out because they were they, again they were kind of splintered up there and um you know, it's always hard to get those that coordination, uh, you know, unless you're on voice chat or you guys, you know, you plan this in advance. It's a random game after all. So anyway, in the end, it didn't matter. Uh, Team Cryptos took that one handily. As you can see, everybody's got one unit left there, except for Mouse Leisure, who, who I think gave away a spare. So, uh, you know, handily done there. Uh, good defensive work from Team Obelix, but in the end, you know, delayed, like dragging that one out. Uh, but in the end, they were outplayed, outmatched, and it was a, a convincing win from Team Cryptos.